Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here today with my week of reading wrap-up. This is where I talk about the books that I read last week, what I'm currently reading, and what I could read next week, depending on my mood. So let's jump to it. First up, I am still absolutely in love with Victober. This has been just the most amazing experience. I can't believe that I didn't know about it before. I can't believe I didn't participate before. And one of the joys of, of BookTube, in my humble opinion. Uh, I have finished only one book this week. Work has been off the hook, just completely insane. Uh, just so much to do, and by the time I got home, I just tried <laughs> but stared blankly at pages so uh, I, I made some progress but I didn't complete that much in fact I only completed one book which is kind of a bummer but it is what it is right so that book is not a portrait of Dorian Gray like I said in one of my previous videos but the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde now this was a very different experience than the first Wild that I read. So I read The um, uh, Importance of Being Earnest, which was just a fun, light romp. It was one of the plays, and it was wacky, and a comedy of manners, and, and uh, just goofy, uh, it, but in the best way. This is much more serious, and so the tone change really threw me at first. Uh, I was expecting a little more camp and a little more snark, but this is just very, very serious in, in tone. As I'm going through this, I'm seeing all of the seeds that were planted by this one book. You can, you can see how it's kind of took the imagination of the culture and has kind of been a continuation ever since. So this was really good. I'm so happy that I, that I did finally get to it and I gave it four stars. Uh, next up, what I'm currently reading, uh, I am doing my buddy read with Jacqueline from Six Minutes From Me, and we are both reading North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Oh, this book. You all are, are so, so right. Uh, so about 50%, yeah, we're about halfway through it. Oh, I, I am in love with Elizabeth Gaskell's writing. It is, it is simple, but it's beautiful. It is uh, gets to the point, uh, but and yet, has there she she can set a scene. She can give you nuance. There's a lot of character depth in here. Um, she's dealing with themes that are that would be very easy to be uh, offhanded with and just kind of throw it out there or or to come down with it with a heavy hand. And she's doing none of that. She's there's a lot of nuance in here. There's a lot of of enough heart and mind it, perfect balance of of thoughtfulness and and intellectual rigor at the same time uh, uh, enough emotion to keep you invested and not feel like you're reading something that's too uh that that's too much of a uh, of a rallying cry in one in one way or another she's very astute uh, the characters are just fantastic uh there's a lot of interesting people in this. I, I'm, I'm thrilled, and I will absolutely be reading more Elizabeth Gaskell. So we are, we are both enjoying this so much. I can't wait to, to see what Jacqueline's saying about this on, in her video. I'll link to her channel below. Um, but this has been an, an absolute delight. And then I started in audio form because I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do both of these in the time that we have left for Victober. And this is Anthony Trollope's The Way We Live Now. Uh, my first Trollope, y'all, I am, just as I'm in love with Elizabeth Gaskell, I'm also in love with his writing. His writing is fantastic. The characters are so great. The scenarios and situations are wonderful. I'm just sinking into this, loving every moment. Uh, really, really great writing. And I I'm liking them for different reasons. And so I think I'm starting to come up with the, with the idea that I'm in love with Dickens, Gaskell, and Trollope. Uh, man, this, are, this has been a, a really a great Victober. So uh, I think I'm about maybe 60, 65% through this. So I'll definitely finish this audiobook this weekend. 
Uh, and then I'm also continuing through Ducks Newburyport. I have my in real life book, my in real life book club this weekend, and so I've got to power read through and real makes make some some deeper dents in here. So tomorrow is devoted. <laughs> Tomorrow's devoted to ducks, uh, so and and later on this evening. So we will see how this goes. Uh, luckily, uh, I'm in the same position as my as my my friends, in that we were all in the same in the same boat with this one. So we none of us have finished, and we don't think we'll finish, but we're we still want to meet and talk about where we are at least. Uh, so I have a feeling that we'll probably continue with this and start our, our next read um, shortly thereafter. So Ducks Newburyport is still still here. Um, and then for next week, one thing that I know I'm going to be reading, and it's something that I didn't finish for last Gone with the Book, <clears throat> and it is uh, this lovely Persephone, uh, Miss Bunkle's book by D.E. Stevenson. Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventure said that she was gearing up for Victober and realized that uh, sometimes you can get a little too much Vic Victorian literature. And so she thought it might be nice to do something where you read um, the next the next uh, era, kind of break it up a little bit. So she started it last month. So it ran last month, this month and next month, uh, which is fantastic because next month is uh, nonfiction November and novella November. So she's, I'll put a link to her, to her description below to her video. I am absolutely loving this. This is fun and funny. And it's the story of this older woman who out of nowhere decides she's going to write a book. And so she has fictionalized her little village and, um, really drew these these characters in such a way that it is completely obvious to anybody in this village who everyone is and she spills a lot of tea in this in this book and she never expected anyone to really read it but now it's they fa they found out the village has found out that that it's been written and they're trying to figure out who the author is and they're pointing fingers in all these different ways and she's just in the middle of it uh D both delighted and scared she's going to be outed and already thinking of her next book. So it's just the cast of characters are, are, are really amusing. It is one of those lovely British uh, kind of comedies and I'm um, loving it, absolutely loving it. And uh, it's a Persephone. So very rarely can you go wrong with a Persephone. So I'm going to finish this next week as well. And then who knows what else I'll, I'll read. Uh, one funny aside, so I've been threatening that I'm going to read some of my um, little Penguin Black classics, and I talked about a, a Thomas Hardy, Woman Much Missed, and I thought, oh, that will be perfect. I thought it was a short story. I never bothered to open up the book, and the moment I opened it up, it was poetry, and I just, I just, I just couldn't. I just, could, I just wasn't in the mood, so, uh, you know, nobody warned me. None of you warned me. I thought they were short stories. I literally didn't realize that the Little Black Classics were anything other than stories. So when I opened it up and found poetry, if I pick up any of these others, uh, I, I will look to see if they are poetry or if they're uh, little novellas. But that's it. That feels like it would be a nice wrap up to Victober is to kind of finish strong with uh, the Way We Live Now and the Elizabeth Gaskill, uh, North and South. And I, I, if, I do, if I get those done, I will feel incredibly accomplished. And I'm going to do a whole Victober wrap up because the experience has been so delightful. Uh, so that's it for me. Let me know what you're reading. Uh, let me know uh, any thoughts on any of the books that I've mentioned here. And I'll look forward to uh, talking to you soon. Bye.